Hello everybody, my name is Graceful Eggplant, but you can call me Steven, and this is a slightly different game than I'm normally used to playing. Let me just turn up this game audio here to, not, not that high, about 50, there we go. That way you can still hear me, but you can hear the music in this game. Okay, this is season two of Minecraft Story Mode, the Telltale series. Um, this is really weird because I don't know the story of the first one, so I only played the first episode, couldn't really get into it. I'm not a huge fan of Minecraft, so this is going to be a little different to me. No, I didn't buy the trial, or download just a trial episode. It's not what I did. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen <laughs> to them. It's a pig. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. Really? They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. That's good. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. <laughs> oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although. Not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. Yeah, totally. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at founding day, but uh, I thought Jesse was a next dude. Year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind. That when is I'm a editing. huge, well, pixelated this quill. This has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Intern. Jesse. Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh. Wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right, sorry. Trying uh, to be nice to him. Uh, sorry, I, I, I mean, uh. Oh, so what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, 
Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra'll never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. This must be a big thing. I'm not super kitty, so... Or into the super kitty so game, so the the, other town this just Saturday looks weird to me. Celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest, yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! See, I'm starting to get more into the Telltale games just because of the fact that they, the stories really, really grit to your brain. <laughs> it's a little weird, but... They have quite the imagination, I guess. Game of Thrones was one of my favorite ones, but I really like Batman, and we're gonna do that one here soon on uh, Pet Farms Entertainment, so... Make sure to check that out. adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. So am I walking now? Oh, cool. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. I'm gonna turn this music down a tad bit. It's really loud right in my ear. Cool. There we go. That's a good balance there. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Huh. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. This place does look really cool, though. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Why? <laughs> Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Righteous like, times. I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome! Letting everybody be themselves, super individualistic, house over there that looks like a squid, righteous. That's how reality is. Between you is. and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? You knew? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! I 
Oh. Ah, a blank canvas. Am I supposed to be building something specific? Or Um, actually, come on. Come on. some sweet work nice sure it is <laughs> oh jesse dude thanks it was my pleasure well it is an honor me amigo and don't be a stranger okay well she is a fascinating woman isn't she very free-spirited huh? yeah yeah kind of reminds me of petra back in her early days speaking of whom you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft mm-hmm Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. They sound and like the YouTubers. the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. YouTubers. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. Her you mouth didn't move at first. Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> huh, all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. 
The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration. I, I don't from know my what friends. happened the first time, so I'm we just taking a guess. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing! I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Reuben Memorial. Oh. Best pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Did he die? Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yeah. It's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the sixth. <laughs> Lord Von Thunderpork. Could bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? But they all look exactly the same. Uh, what? No, they... I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their offended little faces. Sorry. I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. Come on, boys. Well... Man, this is huge. What is this for? Oh my god. Okay, let's go over here. It makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar. Nice. I just stole that. <laughs> There's some jelly. I've seen that before. I did play Jesse! almost the fall oh, hey, first hey, whole look episode. Who it is. Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys! What are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Really? Slime diving. Oh. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Hmm. I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. There we go. Make it bright pink. Nice. That was fast. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Ha ha! Double twist. <laughs> Ta da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice yeah, work. I'm stopping to do all this extra stuff while she's waiting on me.
Let's just what talk you to at, everybody. Susan? Oh, <laughs> Jesse! Wow! Hi! Huh. And just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, uh, fit. <laughs> Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Doesn't fit? It's I think actually it's pretty cool. Oh, wow! Well, maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. <laughs> we'll just leave you to it. <clears throat> Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the what? best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Why don't we have both? Well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles it all seems day. Seems a little, otherwise. uh... <laughs> you know, a little weird. there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Hmm. Don't have a ton of time. But I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Um... What am I supposed to? Oh. Okay. So I just need to find, there we go. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. Somehow I have to make sugar. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay, it was three milk across the top. wheat across the bottom, a sugar here, and a sugar there, and there's the cake. He said cake, she said pie, go. I said 
Why don't we have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Glad they made this story. You could do all this. Bye. And still go back and. So basically, all I have left is the Petra thing. Check out this garden first. Huh, what a lovely garden. That was really all it was. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode right here, and we are going to continue this in another video. It'll probably be up the maybe tomorrow or the day after. But if you like this episode and you want to see more and you want to like continue <laughs> this uh, series let me know in the comment section uh, leave a like below to also let me know check out all the channels in the description and I, I guess I will see you guys later my name is Grace Lakeplant, but you call me Steven, and this is my...